So, what do you think will take to create something like this in Houdini? You see, this is dusty explosion and it's cool, honestly. Of course, you need to familiar with the lot of note in Houdini, including material RBD fracture, building the constraint, RBD bullet solver, and of course, some grain and vellum grain involved, as you can see. Of course, you need a pyro, smoke, and rasterization, and a lot, honestly. But in this video, we will show you a simple way to do this. Hi everyone, this is Daizen. Welcome to my channel. And if you don't know me, we are doing an amazing stuff in simple yet a clever way in this channel without any complexity. So without further ado, let's begin. As you can see, I saw this amazing sample VDB explosion in Pixel Lab, I believe. And as you can see, this is inspired me honestly. And that's an amazing explosion as you can see. So I thought to myself, let's do that in Houdini. So let's begin. As you can see, this explosion has a three component. Yeah, I guess. Uh, first one is destruction. It's destructing something. That's why the explosion is happening and this debris uh, causing this pyro and dust. So that's a one component. A second component, of course, this dust and this debris, as you can see. So I call it a dust component and the third component, of course, this amazing pyro and smoke. So we need to do that in Houdini. Let's see what will take to do that in Houdini in these days. As you can see, first we need some object and of course we need to RBD material fracture that and we need RBD bullet solver and we need to configure the constraint and yeah it's complex kind of for the beginners and after that as you can see we need to adjust the simulation and after the simulation yeah we need some volume grain and volume grain it's another uh, story with the configuration and constraint and yeah after that we need pyro and rasterization volume rasterization yeah I think this is so complex to do. <laughs> but we need an alternative way. So, as you can see, this is a lot to do, especially for the beginners or advanced artists that's doing that over and over. Wow, this is nightmare doing that over and over for the explosion. So, as I promised, at the beginning of this video, we need a simple yet efficient way. So let's eliminate technical part of this process and let's embrace the creative part. Let me show you what I mean by that. So the way I suggest is, for example, I will take this sphere. This is simple and I will use this destruction X digital asset. As you can see, we don't have any uh, pieces let's go to fraction and let's create one tab of uh, fraction you can do multiple tab of fraction and as you can see this is what I'm happy with and as you can see I don't ha I don't want any noise and this is the component uh, the first component of the explosion and as you can see uh, we have our pieces and as you can see we need the trigger we need the trigger for explosion we're gonna use pyro burst. This is simple note. As you can see, you can art direct this explosion. You see, this is simple, just parameter modification. And as you can see, this is too strong and let's uh, decrease the velocity. And as you can see, we have our explosion. You see, <laughs> just with two notes. <laughs> That's what I love this digital asset. And of course, if you're not interested in digital asset or working in this way, we have tons of uh, this tutorial of destruction. As you can see, this is playlist, amazing playlist. You can watch it if you don't interested in, in this workflow. So after we have our destruction, the destruction typically has an effect after the impact. 
we need to go on effect and I need fragment effect. You see, this is the fragment and I will enable trails and of course I will enable this effect and selection. I want to filter this uh, effect and as you can see, we have this amazing U option for updating this status of the fragment and we can filter that by minimum size or minimum speed velocity that's what i call it speed so speed it's more friendly I, I guess and as you can see for example we have this selection and you can art direct that you see this is just parameter tweaking and you see this is amazing we don't need anything and in output i can put that to vdb as a uh, output and as you can see it will give us vdb out of the box and you can adjust the resolution voxel size and particle separation that's amazing without do anything extra and this is a third output the collision you see it's out of the box you have these two that's amazing so now as you can see we have the first component the explosion in simple yet clever way and now we need the second component the dust component so we have an efficient way for that too i will use spark east this amazing digital asset will add any spark and excitement to your work for example as you can see in element we have particle combustion and we have debris and we have electricity for lightning but in this one i will enable particle and not pop particle i want fluid particle that will use vellum instead of pop uh, network as you can see in here you can adjust your color you see this is f uh, artist friendly ui without uh, going to technical stuff and as you can see i'm here i'm uh, choosing this color as you can see and this is our color i will go with that and now let's go to the speed for example i need a little bit of this velocity multiplication and maybe let's increase our uh, particle and as you can see this is what will happen of course we need uh, something you see it's too much i i want to filter these pieces i don't want that much of uh, this effect for example i want to filter that by the speed i need the pieces with higher speed and i will enable a gravity in spark x and as you can see boom we have something like that but as you can see the particle it's dying and i will uh, uh, connecting the second input to the collision to the ground and as you can see we have some collision but as you can see as i said before the particle it's dying so i will increasing the life this is based on time t dollar okay as you can see we have three seconds of time in here and this is our particle dust stuff wow that's amazing so if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content i will be so grateful guys and if you have any question or suggestion leave me in the comment section so now let's go to the third component the pyro or smoke so i will use another spark X and the input will be this particle and as you can see i enable this combustion smoke you see this is simple without <laughs> diving in complex node and as you can see i'm uh, changing this color in here and we have something you see this is driven by the velocity of the particle and i will go with the gray color and this is the particle uh, separation part so sorry particle scale and as you can see i will do this in negative forces so this is buoyancy in negative uh, direction as you can see you see that's what i need yeah it's not bad but we have collision problem let's connect the second input to the collision of destruction x that's simple and you can uh, adjust the voxel size of the collision and boom you we have some collision of course and you see we have something underneath i can tweak that with the translate 
later on but I will go with the whole picture now I want to show you the general operation and you see this is something amazing and cool you can do you see and from now on it's all creative artists can manipulate some parameter without any technical stuff for example in here I will decrease the particle and I will see the result and you have these full control of these three component and as you can see I'm doing this voxel size and particle separation uh, adjustment and life adjustment this is a dissipation and you can uh, adjust this distur disturbance if I if I'm correct and turbulence and you can even adjust this uh, smoke color this is simple of course and this is all up to you and you see this is all basic stuff just adjusting the parameter and I did uh, multiple uh, different of the result as you can see for example I multiply this intensity of the field to have some fade out uh, source slowly to fade out uh, in destruction X so the particle will let go as you can see rather than to stick that stick to that at the end of this frame so I have this fade out uh, effect using this intensity field and I did that as you can see but let's make a final adjustment before we wrapping up and this is the explosion you see I will create a simple explosion using this pyro burst this is the trigger and I will create another spark X you see we have this spark X and I will create this combustion and as you can see we have some fire source out of the box and we can play with the range and we can uh, change the color and you see this is the color range this is for a visualization purpose in karma you need to change that and I will emit smoke after the explosion you see so we have fire or flame and we have smoke and as you can see this is uh, our uh, final final scene and I convert that to VDB using a pyro post process and I will I delete the unnecessary field because karma will go crazy so as you can see this is the result and this sample file it's available on the website and all these tools available in our website in dyson.com and all the resource all the thing you saw here is there and if you're interesting so just check out our website uh, and the link in the description of course and with that big shout out for these amazing people that support me thank you guys and have fun with our content on our subscription website so i will see you in the next video goodbye